I'm right next door to the Facilities Show Seminar Theatre and I'm joined by Jeff Prudence who is the Chair of SIPSI Facilities Management. Jeff, how are you doing? Very well, thank you. Very good. Brilliant. So, um, for anyone who doesn't know what it is, tell me what the SIPSI Facilities Management actually does. Well, uh, SIPSI as a whole is Chartered Institute of Building Services Engineers and uh, it caters to the professional institution of building services engineers uh, worldwide. Um, we have a number of groups and subsections and I chair the facilities management area of that. Okay, and you've, you've got the, the charter mark there as well, what, what does that mean for you? Uh, it's, a, it's a membership organisation, so by Royal Charter, we like you have chartered surveyors, we have chartered building services engineers, and we also have a range of membership from associate, licentiateship, uh, full member to fellowship of senior engineers as well. And what do, membership, what do members get from their membership? Uh, obviously, apart from the professional status, recognition is ongoing CPD, the engagement and support of a professional institution, and obviously the institution and themselves as well, often are asked to consult and give views on uh, government uh, building ideas. The, the members range as a selection, I wouldn't be able to quote the numbers, but a range of consultants, design engineers, FM engineers, uh, w within the groups we also cater for people who are perhaps not building services engineers but use SIBSI as a way of finding more technical building services knowledges and so although like uh, my particular group works very closely with BIFM, RICS, Chartered Surveyors, we've just signed some memorandums with the controls industry we sort of consider ourselves as the recognised home for technical FMs. So obviously FM, as you've seen today, great buzz, lots of, lots of different services around. But in terms of building services engineers, we want to try and work and support the facilities managers that are out there. That's why it's so important to be here today. Terrific. And speaking of being here at the facility show, uh, what are you guys hoping to get out of being here? Um, there's a number of things, really. Uh, this is the second year we've supported it. Uh, last year we, we had a stand and uh, we, we supported some of the events. This year again we've taken the stand. Uh, I spoke at an event yesterday on maintenance strategy and of course obviously in terms of exposure and awareness to people we've increased uh, opportunity both for our full membership and people like myself who run the groups where we just welcome anybody in the FM arena to be part of SIBSI and work with us to sort of develop good, good skills. So this is your second year here at the show. Uh, obviously, it's the second year the show's at London. Um, how's, how's the show work? Are you, are you happy with the conversations you're having here? Uh, on both years, yes. Um, the fact is that whilst there's you know there's, there's the security part, there's the um, the, the FM part, and uh, the, the other fire sections. And I know there's other shows around the UK, but you know the nucleus is London. Most people come to London. And as you know, I know it's been much more greater success this year. It's the place to be for facilities. It's the place to be for us to connect with people we know and other future opportunities to get people involved both with our own institution and just be a key part of the FM industry. That's good to hear, Jeff. Thank you very much indeed for that. Well, listen, I hope you carry on having great conversations. Hope to see you again next year. But for now, Jeff Prudence, Chair of SIBSI Facilities Management. Thanks for joining us, Buzz. Thank you very much. Goodbye. All the best. Thank you.